So what's this, a mail call? Let's check it out. Stay tuned. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Brian the Floridian. Great to see you guys back, back in the shade then. And I just got a cool epic mail call from Pompano Beach, Florida, right across the state of Florida where I live at. And I got this cool razor from this seller. And anyway, I've been, to make a long story short, I've been trying to collect vintage straight razors. I already collect vintage uh, safety razors, but I started going down the rabbit hole of collecting vintage straight razors and lo and behold this is what I got in the mail today so this is called an MJ Higgins straight razor from Sheffield England and I believe this is from 18 this was manufactured from 1850 to 1880 according to the seller where, where I bought this from and this is sent to me shave ready and nicely honed very nice scales by the way so this is like the let me show you the scales on the side here i'm not sure what this says on here but this sits this used to say something on there but it's sadly not there anymore but on the actual razor itself it's hard to see but it does say uh sheffield england mj higgins so very nice razor, nice barber notch in there, five eighths. So this will be my first shave with it. I've been looking forward to using this for a shave. I actually got this a couple days ago, but came in the mail, came in this, came in some very nice bubble wrap. So very nicely packed, ready to go. And one thing about the seller is that this is a great seller. Any anybody that, that that you buy straight razors from, if they put down on how they hone the razor. Whether they put spine, you know, tape on the spine or not tape on the spine, it actually helps you tremendously um, when you, when you go back to rehone your razor or to keep it honed because you don't have to. You, you can tell whether to put tape on there or not put tape on there. Just makes it a lot easier to hone the razor, so you don't have to. You know, take, it takes out the guesswork on whether to put tape on there or actually to help. Actually, just it helps out to really hone the razor. A lot more effect effectively when you know how they have the previous person did it. So really, really cool razor. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna be using that razor. I'm gonna be using my Bear Sherman Man, the Full Measure of Man, one of my favorite soaps I've been using lately. And I'll be using also my Yaki synthetic brush. This is the Ferrari brush with the brown synthetic knot, uh, 24 millimeter, if I'm not mistaken. Got it soaking in water, and just ready for a shave, guys. Looking excited, looking very, very, very excited to try try out this razor. And this is gonna be my first straight razor shave, probably, I'd say probably in a couple weeks or so, because it's been a while. You gotta get about, probably about a day and a half of growth in my face. So, pretty excited. Let me go and wash my face, guys. Get my face fully hydrated and ready to shave. And I will be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Got my face fully washed and hydrated. And I also use the uh, PA cube on my face by Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. So this is a very nice pre-shave, especially for, for doing uh, straight razor shaving, but I wanna definitely try to put as much slickness on my face as I can, because this is the first time I'm using this blade, this MJ Higgins blade, so I'm not sure how sharp it is, but it's supposed to be shave ready from the cellar. But anyway, guys, nice menthol feel, and I got the brush loaded up with the Full Measure of Man by Bearster and Man. So this is gonna be a, oh man, this stuff smells so good. Great tobacco scent. I love the way it smells. So let's go do that first face out of here. And this soap is pretty thirsty, so I had to dial in some more water when I was mixing it in my, doing a lather brush loading in, the, in my shave bowl here. But once you get the right amount of water in this, in this uh, Bearster Man soap, it's very nice and slick. It also makes great lather too. 
Yeah, this soap smells really, really good. So this is a nice tobacco scent. They don't make too many tobacco scents according to their website or even from, from, you know, from reading their history, but this one came out, I believe, maybe last year. But just a nice scent. Nice tobacco. There's uh, also sandalwood in this, citrus, vanilla, uh, resins, myrrh, and geranium, among other things, but definitely mas like a nice masculine tobacco soap. That's the way to pretty much describe it, really. But nice lather there. Look at that thick lather there. Yeah, one thing about Barrister and Man soaps, they do, they do not disappoint in making lather once you dial it in enough, enough water to, uh, to, you know, to, to mix up, you know, to, to, to load your brush up with the, the soap. All right, guys, let me make sure my hand is nice and washed off there. No soap, no soap on, my, on, my, on my hands for the razor. And this will be my first shave with this MJ Higgins razor here. Let's take a quick, my hand fully seated with the razor here. Oh yeah, definitely nice and sharp. So hope you guys are having a good week so far. It's been crazy busy for me at work. So I apologize for not uploading any videos recently. I think it's been about two weeks since I did the last day of video. Wow, nice razor, nice hone job. All right, that's one side of the face so far. Let's go down here. Got a few nicks from uh, my last shave, so hopefully I don't open these nicks up with this razor. But pretty easy to, to hold this razor. I like the, I think I tend to like the smaller handles actually, the smaller uh, straight razors here. They're a little bit more easier to handle to get in you know, certain spots on my face here. All right, guys, that's one side of the face. Oh, got a little nick right there. That's, I, I knew I knew I'd get that nick. I, I did uh, cut myself there last, the last shift I did, which was a day ago, about two days ago, actually, so. Let's go ahead and switch hands here. So, man, this soap does smell amazing. I love the way soap smells. But the razor itself, man, man, this is a nice shave. All right, let's go ahead and do that second pass right here. Yeah, the cube does make it more slicker. Nice and slick for the straight razor here. So the benefit of using the cube is, is probably great for straight razor shaving. Wow, this thing is sharp, super sharp.
Yeah, definitely need more practice with the straight razor. So, one thing about this, you have to keep using this to really get good at it. And I, I actually stopped using it for a little while, so I'm going to start using it again. But man, I started using, for a while, I was using straight straights for probably every shave for a few weeks. And I just stopped doing it, so. And I can tell, I got a few nicks on my face here. So definitely, definitely a learning curve. And yeah, definitely need more practice on using the straight razor to really get proficient at using one of these things here. Wait, guys, that's my first pass. Not too bad. Got one nick right there. Actually, two right here. But other than that, yeah, very, very nice. Very close shave. So let me go with my face, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back for my second face out of here. My second pass with the MJ Higgins straight razor. And first pass was really, really nice and efficient. So let's see how this thing does going across the grain. Alrighty, so hope you guys are doing well. It's been pretty busy at work where I work at. I actually work in a hospital, so been really busy, not really have much time to really go out and film anything out interesting. I do have like a lot a few videos actually, you know, backlogged for me to edit, but man, been really busy. But one thing about Florida is always thing to see in Florida. Interesting places to go to. And you just, you just have to find them. There are lots of bits of history, historic places in Florida, a lot of interesting things to see. And that's one of my passions is, is going around and exploring things, checking things out, uh, seeing new things, things I've never seen before. And just history. I'm a, I'm a big history buff, so I, like, I love to see things, uh, find new things in Florida, anything that's historic, especially like Civil War history or anything like that, or or anything, or even old age history. Like you know, like like the last video I did was back, I, th I think it was the Fountain of Youth I did in St. Augustine, Florida, which was actually the the, the actual Fountain of Youth that Ponce de, de Leon thought was the Fountain of Youth, and that's what that's what I filmed when I, when I did my vi visit there in St. Augustine, and now it's a, now it's a historic uh, for, uh, park now, a little uh, point of interest there, and anybody can ch go check it out. It's a really, really interesting place to go check it out, and uh, guys, I recommend it. And if, if you ever go to St. Augustine, definitely check it out. It is really cool to go there and see. All right, guys, enough talking or jibber-jabber. Let me go against the grain here. Let's see. I'm going to go... Yeah, this thing is super sharp. <laughs> Trying real hard not to nick myself because, like I said, it's been two weeks since I used one of these things here. Nice, nice shave. Man, that is very, very nice. So, summer is coming to a close, but it doesn't feel like it in Florida. It still feels like it's 80 degrees or 90 some days. And it's just weird seeing all this pumpkin stuff, all this autumn stuff in Florida. It's just crazy. There's pumpkin patches all over Florida here. I mean, there's like 
one down the street from my house right here that a church is doing selling pumpkins and just crazy to see all this stuff going on. All right, let me go to this side here. So, definitely kind of weird to be trying pumpkin spice coffee in 85 degree weather. So, definitely, definitely kind of weird. Oh, nice, nice, nice sharpness there. All right, that's pretty good for that side. And now just the middle here. Let me go and switch my hands here. Nice and slick on the soap too, by the way. Right, not too bad. A little bit hard to go across the grain on, on my chin, so I have to kind of go down and a little bit across the top right here, so. I'm gonna switch my hands. Not bad. Digging the shave. Not bad at all. Razor is doing great. I just love these smaller razors here, these smaller straight razors here. This is a 5.8, so it's definitely, I would think it'd be bigger, but man, it feels nice and, nice and efficient and small for getting the little tight areas in my face, those little, the little, uh, you know, hard to reach areas with this little razor here, but I'm loving it though. All right guys, let me rinse my face, guys. I'll be back for the last pass against the grain, which would be the money pass, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, back back for the money pass here, the last pass. So this weekend I went to the the last Rays home game, Tampa Bay Rays. I mean, I live in Tampa, so I went to the last. Uh, Tampa Bay home, Rays home game at Tropicana Field, and they were playing the Florida Marlins. And I took my daughter. My daughter loves baseball. I. That's one of my favorite things to do is take my take my daughter, my family to the games, because my daughter actually enjoys it. I think she likes the sights and sounds of of baseball. 
I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but I do have a special needs daughter, and that's one of the things that she likes to do is actually go to a baseball game like that. And I'll just show you some pictures right there. From our experience, they're pretty cool. I just can't believe baseball season is almost almost done with. I mean, to the postseason, so it's almost down to the last. I think it was six games or so that we got left over. I mean, it just seems like spring training was not that long ago. And from what the Rays did in the offseason, from trading, from getting rid of uh, Blake Snell and a few of the, their key players from the last team that went to the World Series last year, I didn't, think they, I didn't think they would be good this year. But they actually won the AL East division. So they're the AL East division champs. And they have the best record in American League right now. So... So that is awesome. That's just a testimony to how good uh, Kevin Cash, the manager, is with the payroll that the Rays have. The Rays have one of the lowest payrolls in baseball, and it's just a testament on how they can find talent from from just about anywhere that people, you know, just cast off other teams, and the Rays maximize maximize their their talent and their value. All right, so nice part right here, nice shave. Let me go across the grain, the money pass down here. Make sure I don't cut my carotid artery here. <laughs> no pressure. Yep, no pressure, literally. Because that would be a lot of blood cutting my car carotid artery. <laughs> but I love this type. Of, I love this time of year because it's baseball is coming into their playoffs, football season starting, college and NFL. I just love I just love this whole season, football season. I love NFL football to, to my Bay Buccaneers. I love my Florida Gators. So I just love this time this time of year. Not to mention hockey is coming around the corner too. Let me switch my hands here. Oh, that's a little bitter. All right, not bad. Nice shave. Yep, very, very smooth. Yeah, very, very, very smooth. All right, guys, let me rinse my face, guys. I'll be back for the post shave, and I'll be right back. 
All right, guys, back for my post shave. So I'll be using the Full Measure of Man Post Shave Balm by Bear Shirt Man. So this stuff is awesome, by the way. And it smells just as lovely as the soap does. So it's a nice, nice light balm. So I'm gonna put this on my face here. Yeah, very, very nice. Has that, that smoky tobacco uh, scent to it. It's kind of, it, it, I mean, one of the things that they said on the website from, from Bear Man was, imagine yourself sitting in a mahogany leather chair or a leather chair with mahogany bookcase, like a you know, like li library full of books, smoking a pipe and also enjoying a glass of brandy. And this is what this would smell like, that experience. And it does, does, it's definitely spot on. It does smell just like that. Very, very masculine, very nice and the nice tobacco. I mean, I can, I can, has a nice vanilla. I mean, it has a very, very nice scent. This stuff is amazing. And it's very light too. The post shave bomb is pretty light. So definitely nourishing for your skin. Nice post shave feel. Just love it. Anyway guys, that's my shave. So I use the MJ Higgins Straight Razor here, a vintage straight razor from Sheffield, England. And this is from a seller I got from, Aunt, from Etsy. And very, very nice seller. I mean, he left the instructions on how to, how he, what he used to, to hone the razor up here. You know, whether he used tape, or he did use tape for the spine. So very, very easy to follow. So I'll probably be doing the same thing when I hone this razor up, putting tape on the spine. And he also, was very nice enough to, to strop it 50 times before he sent it away. So it says back here, razor is ready to use. No need to strop it. And a little bit of instructions, instructions, instructions there to make sure you dry it off and keep it safe. So nice touch with this thing here. Very, very nice touch. And this razor is from 1850 to 1890. So not really sure if it's really that old, but I'm sure it's been, it's definitely Definitely one of the older ones that I, that I have in my collection. Very nice spine. I mean, I'm sorry, very nice scales, by the way. That very, very, looks, just looks amazing looking. I, I, love, I love the way it looks. Five eighths, very nice razor. So that's my razor I used. I used the Yaki Ferrari with a brown thick knot. So this is supposed to emulate the horse hair. Very, very nice and soft, nice backbone. Great, great brush. And last but not least, the soap, Full Measure of Man by Bear Shirt Man. Great stuff. All right, guys, that's my shave. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed me cutting myself up because I have a cut right here and right here. But that's that's the, that's what happens when, when you don't straight, use a straight razor for a while. You kind of have to get back into the groove of using one and you will cut yourself if you're not used to it. And like I said, it's been two weeks since I used one of these before and I paid the piper. I <laughs> got one right here and one right here. Other than that, I, think it, I mean, it's pretty much gone by now. I use this uh, skeptic stick on here and right here, so it's pretty much gone. But nice shave, um, nice smooth shave, almost baby bottom smooth. I don't feel any hair on my face, so this is a very, very nice home job from the seller. But anyway, guys, that's my shave. Hope you guys have a good week. Hope you guys enjoy your shaves, and I will see you right back probably next week. I'll see you back, or this weekend. I'll see you back soon. Take care.